Madden. Hey, Crystal, I believe I'm being visited in my dreams by a dark being. I'm not sure what it wants, but I wake up with a pounding headache. Any advice or information you can give would help. Well, I would, let me pace myself here. We're talking about dark beings. <laughs> you know, I start getting all in my dominion about that. Well, first of all, um, you can start by priming yourself before you go to sleep. You can say a prayer. You can pray to St. Michael if you like. St. Michael is the protective archangel, carries a sword, will cut through any negative energy or entity if given the permission to. And certainly if you request that, you can also say a prayer like the Lord's Prayer. You can say, this is tied to Christianity. It doesn't need to be. This is just my paradigm, how I grew up. There's all kinds of different prayers and rituals that you can do to protect yourself. But before sleep, you run through that protective ritual for yourself so that you can create a chamber of peaceful sleep for yourself, setting the intention, having the intention that tonight I sleep undisturbed. Tonight I sleep and nobody bothers me. There are no negative entities. That's your intention and you will be fully protected. But that doesn't mean you won't have an interloping spirit who disregards your boundaries entering into your space and attempting to wake you up and bother you. This is where you have to react appropriately. What does that mean? How do you react appropriately to a negative entity or to a shadow being or to a being that's in your room scaring you? Well, you have a couple of options. Your first option well, they're both equally as powerful. <laughs> Your first option is to transmit love to it. I read a book by Stuart Wilde, W-I-L-D-E, may he rest in peace, love all of his books, and you can find some of his lectures on YouTube. But he, I think it was in his book, The Sixth Sense. He was talking about being harassed nightly by little gray ETs. And it wasn't that he was scared of them, because he wasn't, he was just tired of them. He learned as much as he wanted to learn about them, and he wanted to be undisturbed at night. And so he decided the next time they barged into his room and woke him up, he was going to beam a stream of love right at them, just transmit to them this beautiful love. I love you. I love you. I love you. And sure enough, and soon enough, the ETs barged into his nightly sleep, and he sat up, and he just loved them sent them this love, felt this love in his heart and pointed it in their direction, which confounded them. Because you see, the light confounds the darkness or anything of a lower vibrational signature. It confounded them and they got confused and they left and they never came back. That's one thing you can do if you're out of fear. I mean, if you can sit up and not be afraid because you have beings in your room, most people will be terrified by that. But if you can stay out of fear and get into love and just be that and point that at these beings, well, then that will cause them to leave. Or you can command them to leave because you have every right to do so. That is your bed. That is your room. This is your life. In fact, this is your sovereign experience and you are a sovereign being in it. And just so that you know, and everybody else knows, there's no other entity or energy of a lower signature that has a right to come into your space and disturb you. Now they may think they do because you don't know this about yourself because you're not walking around empowered by the reality that you're sovereign in your space. And so they may think that they can. And so they do. But once they know that you know that you have this sovereign power and that you are commanding the space to align to your intention, they obey. It works every single time. So you can wake up and command them to leave. Now, don't do it from a space of fear. You got to really feel that. You really have to know your own power and know your own strength. And from that energy, which is a frequency, your divine power is a frequency. It's your innate soul vibration. From that energy, you command them to leave. This is what Christ did when he's casting out demons. He just commanded them to leave. He didn't have great discussions with them. He just told them, beat it. You got to go. And they did. By the way, this is the same dominion Christ was occupying when he said, Lazarus, rise up. He had full faith. And he was standing in this power and everything had to adjust and align according to his intention. And Christ, of course, said, anything I can do, you can do better. So you got to know that about yourself and know that you command your space. 
So protective rituals, like praying beforehand and maybe saying the Lord's Prayer or putting on the full armor of Christ, things like that, you can do that. And those things do help. However, knowing who you are on a soul level, your divinity and the power that comes with that is enough. When you run the energy of that, every being in the astral understands it. Every being in the astral honors that. All the higher beings, fifth, sixth, seventh dimensional angels, ascended masters, they honor that as well and recognize that. But the lower entities, the ones that we might call service to self, the ones that are seeking to serve themselves, they notice it too. It's a signal and they don't want any part of it because it's stronger than theirs. That's the way divine energy works. The stronger energy always makes the more substantial change to the lesser energy. Always, always, always. And there's no stronger energy than divine energy, period, point blank, source energy. And you, my friend, were created from source energy. You were created in the first couple of phases of creation, your soul, your oversoul, and you contain within your spiritual DNA and subsequently your physical DNA, you contain the code of your creator. And so you have every right to occupy that, you see, and to command your space and to command the energies, but also to command your life and to create your life intelligently based on your vision for yourself. The people perish for a lack of vision. You got to know what you want. And then you have to speak it into existence, believing that it's possible to him or her that believeth it is possible. All things are possible. So we went a long distance from a short question about how to get rid of negative entities. If you know who you are and you vibrate to that, with that, in that, you will not be bothered by negative entities. I hope that helps. Help me continue to create ad-free spiritual content by supporting me on Patreon. Depending on the tier selected, you can receive one free lesson a month or access to a live Zoom meetup where members receive intuitive readings, attunements, and more. Every dollar really does help. Now, on to the video.